EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchant here with your outlook for November 29th, 2023. It is Wednesday. The Wednesday video forecast is proudly sponsored by the KP Agency in Easton, Pennsylvania. Aren't we all tired of seeing Joe Namath talk about Medicare on TV? Free, free grocery cards and money back in your Social Security if you're over 65. But truth be told, most of that rhetoric doesn't even apply to the vast majority of folks. When you call these numbers on TV or answer the phone from a telemarketer, you'll most likely be switched out of your current insurance and put into a plan that doesn't suit your needs. Why rely on a stranger at the other end of the phone to help you with such an important life decision? The KP Agency in downtown Easton, Pennsylvania is a independent source you can count on for an unbiased review and direction on your Medicare plan choices and at no cost to you for doing so. The deadline for Medicare annual enrollment ends in December, so don't wait. Give Kristen a call or a text at 908-329-7140. That's 908-329-7140 or visit them online at the kpa.net. They are the KP Agency in Easton, Pennsylvania, proud sponsors of the Wednesday video forecast. So today, yesterday, we had a bunch of snow showers around the area. Some got it, some didn't, uh, but it was very cold, very uh, breezy, and uh, the wind chill was certainly a factor. And you know that if you stepped outside for any length of time, it was uh, just bone chilling. Uh, today, we're going to have a reprieve in the winds, and we're also going to get rid of the snow showers today. That was a yesterday thing. Uh, because we had the wind direction off of the lakes, both Erie and Ontario yesterday, uh, was blowing in a northwesterly flow. That's going to be, instead of so it was kind of like this. And today's flow is more like west, northwesterly, or west, kind of like this. So we're heading back to the New York area uh, for those chances for snow squalls today and snow showers. Some of you even had some ground whitenings out of it and uh, some Cody's to a half inch type stuff, especially early this morning over Southeast PA. There was a little bit of a surprise to see a streamer move that uh, far ahead of the action that I was describing in the video, but it did. Uh, and uh, we have less wind because these uh, isobars are further apart. So you don't have that pressure gradient today like you had yesterday. So since they're farther apart, you're going to have less wind today. Still a little bit of a breeze, but nothing really overwhelming. So it's not going to feel as cold as yesterday, even though temperatures are going to be, actual air temperatures are going to be somewhat similar. As you see above me, 32 to 40 is the spread in temperatures today with a mixture of clouds and sun in the interior, mostly sunny southeast, and then mostly sunny everywhere on Thursday. But we are looking at mostly sunny skies on Thursday. So temperatures are going to come up considerably. 44 to 52 is the spread here on Thursday. And uh, that is going to be about uh, 10 to 12 degrees higher than what we'll see today and what we saw yesterday, okay? Uh, the next system's going to come in here on Friday. It looks like there's going to be a, a mostly cloudy start to the day, first half of the day. Then you'll have some showers moving in during the afternoon. But this is not an overwhelming amount of rain. The highest rain totals look like they're going to be across our northern areas, and it will be rain because there's a warm air push coming in. That, Like I said, on uh, you know, Thursday is 44 to 52, and it's a very similar day here on Friday. So the temperature is going to be too warm for any wintry precipitation for these next couple of systems. It's going to be just too mild for that. Uh, and uh, But it doesn't look like an overwhelming amount of precipitation. You see a little gap in between here. And the same thing the European model is doing for that same period. I just showed you the GFS. Here's the European model. Again, favoring the northern areas. And then when you get in the afternoon, there's a little bit of shower activity further south. But it's not an overwhelming amount of precipitation. And then it just moves away after that point. And then in between systems here on Saturday, we have another little wave heading off to the north along a warm front. The warm front is actually all the way up here. Okay, so this is all milder air coming in here. We're not dealing with anything. Why did my cursor just change sizes? I'm not sure why I did that right midstream like that, but here we are. Uh, try this again. Okay, so you get that warm air push. There we go. Uh, in, in between. So it's going to remain mild uh, this weekend as well, and actually starting early next week as well, uh, with temperatures on either side of 50 degrees on both Saturday and Sunday, maybe in the lower 50s in some areas. And uh, partly the mostly cloudy skies we're looking at Saturday with that system off to our north. And then we have another system coming in for Sunday that's going to give us some more showers. Again, this is just rain, and you can see where the height lines are here in this case, way up here like this. Okay, so low pressures here. This is all warm air and this is all rain okay no chance this is going to be, have a wintry component with this either for this sunday system uh once this clears there's a little bit of a question whether anything's going to be linger on monday there are some models that are suggesting that uh like this one here on the lead of the trough this is actually with the cold front that's going to come through monday there could be a few showers with that uh we'll revisit that here in the next couple of days and see where this goes but uh it looks like after that point the cold air is going to settle on the next trough on tuesday 
of next week and anything you would get on uh, beyond this once it settles in. Now, this is a system is awfully close here at the end of the week. This was our storm signal that we had in the long range outlook. It's a little bit too far offshore, uh, but that's, you know, given it's more than a week away, it's something to keep an eye on because we're definitely going to have the cold air involved with this. And if this does decide to come a little bit closer, hug the coast a little bit more, we could be in for some snow. Uh, again, that's next uh, we're talking about. This is this is the sixth and seventh time frame. This is right with the long range single that I listed before any of these models came into, into, into play here. And actually, nothing's really been showing it at all. At all. But uh, now it's starting to show hints of it here and there. So we have to keep an eye on that period. Uh, but right now, it doesn't look like there's anything wintry here in the next seven days. This would be beyond the seven-day point. On BPA, WA meteorologist Bobby Martish, that is your outlook for November 29th, 2023. Have a great Wednesday.